in this episode. We talk about some useful stuff that you need in trucking. Definitely need. Welcome to another episode. My name is Sahid, and if this is your first time here, remember to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any episodes. Today I want to talk about some very useful things that you need in trucking. Things that you need to have, and things that would be nice to have. Number one, trucker's GPS. Not to be confused to, with any normal GPS, this is for truckers. And I mean Rack McNally or Garmin for truckers, specified truckers. Why? Because the normal GPS, you know, it'll take you to the route of cars. But trucks cannot go in every they cannot go in every road or every street. Some streets are, you know, trucks are not allowed. But those GPS know with those ones. Not only that, when you start the GPS, the GPS will ask you for, you know, the height of the truck, the width of the truck, the length of the truck. So it will know not to put you in a bridge, you know, that is not allowed for trucks. And it will know that if you're gonna go through an overpass that is lower than 13 point some feet, you know, not to take you there. I mean, you probably seen those videos of the guy that go under a bridge and, you know, and they leave the roof in the bridge. And that's why. If you take a normal GPS, he thinks you're a car and will take you through anywhere. And that's a problem. You need the trucker's GPS. Okay, I've I've been driving here and I see those old truckers pass, you know, drive by, and you see them driving and they're reading the, the you know the map book. They're reading the map book. They're not paying attention. You're like, how do they do it? I mean, I seriously don't know how they do it. But you know, it's a simple thing. You enter the address, you say go, and and it will take you there. I don't know why they do it, but whatever, you know, some people just, just don't like new technology, they're so used to the old one, and that's what they do, right? So, truckers GPS, that's the number one, you must have that, absolutely. Me, personally, I like the, the Garmin, the Garmin better. It, it tells you, I mean, I have a Rat McNally here, it's pretty old, really, but um, but it works fine. Except for, like, a, if there is traffic ahead, this won't let me know. The, the Garmin will. You see that things are getting red and red and red when there is. And when you're coming down a hill on a curve, and the GPS is telling you there is a, you know, traffic stop ahead, you already start slowing down. It really helps. So when you get there, you don't get in there like all fast and then, holy crap, now you gotta put the brakes and slow down. No, 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 no. You already know ahead of time. So the, the Garmin, I really liked it better. So, which I'm gonna buy with points, with love points. But that's another topic. Number two. The dash cam. 
that cam is a new thing. Not a lot of truckers have it now, but in my opinion, it's extremely, extremely helpful. Oh, I use it for, you know, our video, the videos, these videos on YouTube videos and stuff like that. And they're very good, you know. It's an HD cam, it's, just, you know, it records what you see it. It's beautiful, you know, perfect quality, National Geographic quality. So, it's really good. But, more important than that, when you see those people doing crazy stuff, you have it on video. If you haven't seen my video about hit and run, click on that link so you see exactly how good a dash cam is. You see the guy hits me and he takes half of the deer bumper ahead and I have it on camera. What happened after that? When I went to the company and said, hey, you know, this happened, I got the info of the guy. Well, they went to the insurance of the guy and they were like, well, the guy said that didn't happen. It didn't happen. You don't have any proof. <laughs> My company say, yeah, we do. We have it in camera. It's on video. Yeah, we do. We have the proof. So, screw you. You're paying for that thing. We still haven't paid yet. But that's another story. But anyway, yeah, that thing. Another story that I know, a friend of mine in Tennessee, I gotta remember the name of that mountain, but it's a crazy mountain that you go from Tennessee into Georgia, and you know, truckers have gotta slow down. And he was coming down, and some guy came, got in front of him, and put the brakes. My friend couldn't stop, hit him. The cops came, and the guy in the car said there was road rage. That the trucker hit him, just because he was pissed. So, when the cop came to the truck, my friend said, whoa, hold on a minute. Just watch the video. He said that the cop went to the guy and said, you want to change your story? Because you're on camera. You're on video. Just like that. That's how useful that thing is. So, when some crazy things happening, you can cover your butt. Rule number one of this business, cover your butt. So that nobody can say, well, it was his fault. No, 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 no. It's on camera. <coughs> yes. Number two. Number three. Truckers Pass. Now, that's an app on the phone. It's called Truckers Pass. You know, that every trucker must have. That app will let you know where is the scale, you know, a, a weight scale, you know, like here, the government, I mean, DOT scale or a CAT scale, so you can weigh yourself. Where is the flying gaze? Where is the blue beacon? So you can watch a truck, which this one, by the way, needs some. And where is the loves? Where is the truck stop? Where are the rest areas? Where is everything? So you can plan yourself ahead of time. Why is this important? Because sometimes you are like, you know, you got two hours ahead, two, two, more, two hours of driving, and you don't know where you're going to start. You don't know what's ahead. Sometimes it's a, a, an area that you've never been before. I mean, I've been here for a long time, so I pretty much know almost all of them. But, you know, there are some places that I haven't been. It's impossible to be in every road of the country. Right? So, what do you do? You pull that. The GPS marks exactly where you are. You need to have internet. And you can scroll ahead and you see, let's say, the pilot. You click on it. And it tells you, number one, how far is it? It's 96 miles away, say, for example, right? How far is it? Uh, the address. 
and then you click on it and it tells you how many tr how many truck parking spots they have if they have showers if, if they have diesel exhaust fuel if they have what kind of restaurant they have if they have Wi-Fi if and more importantly of all of that it'll let you know if the truck stop is full you'll see in red it said no spots available or in yellow some spots available and the last report was two minutes ago or 15 minutes ago or an hour ago or 24 hours ago so you can calculate sometimes you're like oh I'm gonna stop here and then you click on there and you're like oh, oh no it's already full so I'm not gonna stop there why bother just keep going or stop before so you can plan yourself it's really important it's really useful to have that app okay number four tape you need to have tape tape will save your life okay it's crazy the things you can do with tape okay just normal electrical tape or any kind of tape whatever tape you need to have tape always okay it's crazy you know if a if a fuel line or a, or an airline and got pump or got a hole on it tape it will let you drive a few miles ahead okay I was once in Manitoba and I was doing a turn and it was minus 35 Celsius it was freaking freezing and plus the windshield it was probably minus 45 I had you know the ski mask the hood everything I had it on and holy cow it was cold it was so cold that the airline from the truck to the trailer go frozen and it just snapped like a, like a twig like a, like wood like bah, like that you know and that's rubber but it was totally frozen so what did I do tape taped it up and drove two more miles into the flying J and parked and then I went inside and bought a you know a new airline and, and put it in there but it let me drive from being in, in the middle of the road for like an hour because that now you gotta call somebody to come and fix it for you so he let me drive a couple of hours just because I had tape okay tape it's crazy is it the things you can fix with tape okay think of that number five I think we're number five <laughs> I just keep, keep running crazy glue same thing with tape you know crazy glue I don't know I, I've done stuff with this light thing just came out the lights in the trailer sometimes you know they pop out and the screw that you know hold the, the light in the trailer is just gone and you don't have that screw so what do you do crazy glue put crazy glue on it stick it in there and boy does it help because if you go to a you know a DOT scale with that thing hanging out you're gonna get ticket so that can save you a lot of money okay and finally number six and that, on that I'm gonna put a bunch of other stuff all together there you know a very good flashlight if you can get one of those that you can put it in here it's really good because if you gotta get into the this, under the trailer you gotta work with both hands it's good to have it here you know and one of those LED that lights that you know it's like whoa you can see everything yeah a light a hammer 
so you can heat the tires and trust me it's just kicking it with the boot is not good enough it just doesn't do it I have done it and they had a flat tire I kicked it once and I didn't even know it was flat later on I find out that it was flat and if I had hit it with a with the hammer but I was lazy I would have known so a hammer is important um, light hammer and one more thing winter gear very very important I mean get yourself your best winter gear possible available okay because you never know I never take it out of the truck okay never take it out of the truck last summer in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, in May, there was an ice storm in May in Saskatchewan. You think it was summer? Forget about it. Leave the, leave the winter gear at home. Oh, you wake up and there is snow all over the place. You never know when you're going to need it. My parka alone cost $400 money well spent because boy I can I've been in really 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 freezing conditions and I just put you know the thermos a little sweater on top and the parka boom pop oh you're good and I mean freezing okay you see you you probably I don't know if you see but do you see this mark that I have here it's a different color between my face and my forehead. You know what that is? That's that I used to I used to wear a took up to here. And it was so cold freezing in Cabo's Caves in Ontario that my whole face was frozen and it, and the cold burns. The cold actually burns. My whole face was frozen and you know and that's the thing, that's why that's why I have this mark here. So I don't know how long it's gonna to take to go back to normal. But it's basically a burn burn mark from the cold, from freezing. Not from the sun, from freezing. So since then I bought the a ski mask. The whole thing. I look like a terrorist, you know. You can only see the eyes and the mouth. And if they only knew my name, <laughs> I'd probably go to jail. But the point is that, yeah, winter clothing, very, very important. Winter gear, extremely, buy your best. The best, okay, is money well spent, okay? Because in this business, sometimes you, you are in some bad weather and you need to be prepared, okay? Hope for the best prepare for the worst that is the rule okay so those are the some of the youthful stuff that you need in trucking so if you like this video you know and you want to know more about trucking click on that link I'll take it to a playlist so you can see more okay and don't forget to subscribe and like us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.